Okay, so once you've got your sample off the machine, what you want to be sure to do is you want to make sure that you have tied up your ends on both sides, um, just to make sure that it's not going to unloosen. Um, and then if this is going to be a wearable um, and you want to um, wash whatever you're making out of this yarn, you want to wash it first before you measure it. So just pop it in a bowl and then I have one of these um, little bags that I got with some reusable cotton pads and I just pop it inside the bag and that's just going to protect it a little bit. Pop that in there and then wash it according to the instructions that are on the yarn packet. Okay so once you've washed and dried your um, swatch um, and to dry it you could either if you hang up your your knitwear what you can do is you could pop this on sort of a trouser hanger and just hang it up to make sure if it's going to drop it'll drop whereas if you fold your knitwear um, and keep it on shelves then you could just lie this flat um, and let it dry that way so um, I lay mine flat and let it dry that way so now we're ready to measure the gauge what you need to do that is either a ruler or a tape measure Okay, so now we're just going to measure this all the way around. So I'm just going to put the tape measure down on top of the sample. And we're just going to measure it. Try not to distort any of the stitches here. Okay. Right. And that is 36 centimetres. So I now know that any tube I make from the machine is going to be 36 centimeters around and we know that we did 50 rows so let's measure this again not yanking on it just trying to be as gentle with it as possible on the top all the way down is about 24 so you know that 50, 50 rows is going to get you a sample that's 24 centimetres and you can just do some algebra based on those and um, to figure out um, your swatches um, but what I also like to do is I just like to work out um, a 10 by 10 square and see how much that would be so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop my ruler on here and we'll try and start at a V and so it's from there to there so i'm just going to count those so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so i've got 14 stitches makes 10 centimeters squared and then i'm just going to turn my swatch and do the same thing the other way So, starting from this V here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. So then I would just divide those numbers by 10, and that's how much I would get 
to do one centimeter squared and then you can work it out from there and um, if you don't use the metric system obviously just measure that in inches as to whatever you need to do for that and that's how you knit the gauge i hope that was helpful um i'll put all the uh, measurements up on the screen for you at the end um, and so this is an iron weight I am 100% acrylic yarn um, and you should generally get about the same um, swatch as I have. Thanks for watching.